Hello, my name's Elizabeth, but you can call me Liz. And in today's video, I'm hoping I can do kind of like a get ready with me Valentine's Day edition. So if you want to see that, keep on watching. But first, let's enjoy it. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, please continue on watching. Here are all the products that I use for this look. I kind of want to do kind of like a Valentine's Day get ready with me, but more not Valentine's Day, if that makes sense. Um, I kind of want to do it more fairy-like, whimsical, Valentine's Day all mashed together. We're going to see if we can do that. So those are my three keywords for today. You can let me know down below in the comments how I did based on the three keywords are going to be whimsical, fairy-like, and Valentine's Day. So I went to Daiso and I bought these two things. So this is like, kind of like for your hand. And then I was thinking after I do my makeup, I can curl my hair and we can add this and it can add to the fairy-like, whimsical type of thing. And... We have ring lights. Yellow light? I think that's supposed to be natural light. Light. But I also have like the window outside, so that's the thing. But uh, yeah, I think mostly from here on out, I'm gonna do a voiceover. Let's get started. <laughs> but first, I can't. And there's a mirror here, and I also have a mirror here, so I might also be looking at it. And I will zoom you in, but let me just. Also, like the ins the setup I have right down here is insane. <gasps> like, I knew I owned stuff, but like I didn't know I owned this much stuff. First, I'm gonna take my primer if I can find it. There we go, primer, and then we're gonna just dot it on the forehead, the cheeks, everywhere that I need it. My whole face, honestly. So. I don't know if you can see it, but like this shirt that I'm wearing right now, it's like the only thing that I found that was not even whimsical or fairy like. I don't have any clothes that match whimsical, fairy like, magical type of thing. Most of my clothes are in black, so I found this like sheer, it has like cute little stars and stuff. And I might change, but I'm gonna just keep this the same. I'm not sure. And then we're gonna go in with our handy dandy concealer and conceal all the stuff. under the eyes and then add some rose water and then pat that shit in use it as more as a foundation honestly look at this cute little egg thing i got it at daiso and now let me zoom you in let's get personal hi hello what's up how's it going now look at all those eyeshadow palettes a hey. They're so gonna take this love card from I Am Mimi. It's so pretty. And we're gonna use a mauvey pinkish light type of color and put it all over the eye. Yes, that color. All over the eye and underneath the eye as well. Meh. Too cool for school. We're gonna go in with a more mauvey color, make that color deeper. All over the eye as well, underneath the eye. Show them lids. Take that Yes Please palette from ColourPop. Take that red color for Valentine's Day and put it all over your eye. Nah, boo-boo, we need more, baby. More, more red. Make it more Valentine's. Take that whatever palette. Use that red. Ooh, red. And deepen it. Ooh, ooh, yes. And then just, just blend it away, honestly. We look like a crazy psycho, but that's okay. It's the look. 
and then just blend. Blend away your problems, honestly. Just blend. I was listening to music, but I will get copyrighted, so. Now we're going to take two cool for school, that purple color, and we're going to put it at the edge of your eye. Make it deeper. Kind of like a cat eye. Blend, blend, blend underneath the eyes as well. Now we're going to take that can make and make it even deeper with that reddish purple one. Make it deeper, honestly. We want kind of like big anime eyes without the contacts. Just keep blending, just keep blending, blend, blend, blend. Good, yes, yes. Good. Now we're gonna take this gold color, use your finger, and dab it all over the front of your eye. And underneath. And grab a brush and try to spread it. Nah, man, we need this gold from the yes please and add more gold more sparkle yes underneath the eye try to not hurt yourself yes good good now curl your eyelashes good yes now take this favorite eyeliner and tight line your eyes i know this looks terrifying it's not gonna take this red and tight line underneath your eyes there we go other side for big anime eyes I'm gonna add eyelashes instead of colored contacts and boom. it makes a huge difference honestly and then we're gonna take this gel liner and add it underneath your eyes where you didn't put the red part. So half underneath is red and half is gold. Now we're gonna take a regular eyeliner and try to do like cat eye and also conceal the glue. I was struggling. Yay, good enough. Now obviously you need to curl your falsies and your lashes together. So curl them and then we can add some mascara. Yes. This awesome better than sex mascara. Up, 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 and then down, down, down. Lol. <laughs> you can tell I've been spending my time on TikTok from that face. Wait. No. Other side. Zoom out. There you go. Good. Now onto the face. This favorite cushion from Innisfree. And three pumps. Now we're going to take our puff. And then all over the face, dab and blend. Dab and blend, dab and blend, cover your entire face. Woo. And on your neck too, please. Now we're gonna take this powder and powder our face. Do that crack cocaine, shake it, dab, dab. Back to the lid, grab a brush, and dab, dab. Try doing the Instagram baddie type of makeup where I just leave the powder. But me. Now grab that contour, baby. Honestly, I don't contour a lot, so I just grab a small brush, contour a side of my face, my chin, underneath. Make a three, basically. The chin, yes. Hide that double chin. And then I tried to do a nose contour, but I think I failed. But I'll keep trying. Underneath the lip, give me that Kylie Jenner lip, and then grab another brush and then just blend away. And then grab a brush and take that powder off or dab it in. Ooh, such a professional. Yes. Good enough. Yes. Zoom you in. Now grab the eyebrow pencil and let's do my eyebrows. So I just feather them out and then I draw them in and then I feather them out again, honestly. Oh, the light from outside is really making it look like I'm a ghost. Ah, oh, the power of a ring light. I need to learn how to do my eyebrows better. Instagram baddie mode. 
Now this cool thing I found in America is a clear brow lash and brow mascara. So I've been doing my brows and it keeps them in place. It's a miracle. And then I try to put them back in place. <laughs> There you go, yay! Zoom out. Time for my favorite part, the cheeks! One, two, tres, cuatro! Let's start with this one. Use your fingers and dab, 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 dab. Eh, you can't see it that much. Eh. You blend it away. Still can't see, so now use this orange one. You can kind of see it, not really. And then just blend. And then take this moonshot one, it has like an orangey coral one. Eh. Kind of. Then just blend away. Do that e-girl style all over your face. One more. Do this pinky cherry blossom on top of everything else that we added. Yes. <laughs> and then we're just going to blend that too. I was trying to create more of a sunset type of thing on your cheeks. I don't know if it worked. I don't think so. And then we're going to highlight. This is my new favorite highlighter, honestly. Can you see that glow though? Yes, that very light glow. And then I need this stylish lip liner. And we're gonna do the lips. Ooh, pinky. And then my favorite lip tint, red. This happens sometimes, it's annoying. No. Ooh, yes. And now we're gonna take this Hello Kitty, all over, all over. Cute, yes, feather it out. Gradient effect, baby. Zoom you out, out. All right, so that would be done. Like, that's a cute, simple Valentine's Day look. You have the lashes, the red lips, pink lips, whatever, a bit of gold. I think that's cute. I think it's a bit whimsical. You know you got the lashes, the wispy lashes, or longer at the bottom, a bit of gold. Shit to the highlight because you know fairies are supposed to be young and doughy. I don't know. Mm, but I feel like we can go a bit more extra, you know? You get what I'm saying? Like a bit more whimsical, a bit more fairy. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm gonna take this red lip and right underneath like here. Is this a Valentine's Day aesthetic or an e-girl aesthetic? Ooh, maybe that'll be the next one. Cute though. But like, you know, we got a little bit more Valentine's, but let me zoom you out. It's all a bunch of like YouTube videos where it's like the girls just put like fake tears. This one, it's like the gold sword. Festival makeup now. All over the cheeks. Right where the hearts are. I'm just putting a bunch of shit ton of sparkles. I'm really glad you can actually kind of see the sparkles actually. It's like, oh, I cry sparkles. I don't cry tears. I cry sparkles, you know? <laughs> mm. We are fairy. We are whimsical. We need more highlight. I'm gonna zoom you up. We need more highlight. We are goddamn fairies, we are whimsical, we need that highlight. Put your chin on my lips, on the tip of my nose. The bridge of my nose make it higher. Oh yes, oh yes, I look like a hot mess. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh look, aren't we fairy? I don't know if I would call you a fairy, but oh, aren't we cute? Alright, I'm gonna go curl my hair and I'll be right back. So, 
So I added this. I curled the hair, but then it looked too chaotic. So I kind of just put it up in a top knot, as long as you don't see the back side, because I don't have a clip. And we're gonna add this. And I have another one, which also has like little roses. And ta-da! So this is like the finished look. I added like it's little suns and it has a little chain. I kept the shirt because I feel like for Valentine's Day, people always wear red and pink, but I feel like they don't wear black enough or you can even wear purple. I feel like that'd be so cute. So I added these earrings. So this one is just like a dangly one. And this one has like a little flower inside. To say I had fun with this aesthetic is an understatement. More photos and TikToks. aesthetic I wanted I don't know if I is it whimsical enough maybe is it very like maybe Valentine's Day maybe you decide tell me down in the comments down below did I hit the three keywords whimsical very like and Valentine's Day did I hit the aesthetic for this one correctly or no Honestly, I would go out like this, minus the little hearts. I think if you take out the little hearts and like the little glittery stuff on the hearts, I feel like it would look so cute. Which I think is very overrated because I don't think there should be just one day where you show your sweetheart that you love them. But I don't know, that's just me. Whatever, you know, that's just me. So if you plan on doing something, Always remember to tell your sweetheart you love them every other single day, especially in the 14th, but you know, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I've never gone on a Valentine's Day date. Now, the day after Valentine's Day is where you go get your candy. Follow me on Instagram and or Twitter. Like this video if you want to see more aesthetics. Comment down below if you think I hit the three keywords of whimsical fairy like a Valentine's Day. Or tell me down below if you have like another aesthetic that you think that I should try out i like trying out because they're fun um subscribe to my channel down below if you please i'm trying to get to 50 subscribers by the end of march comment let's subscribe subscribe to my channel for more random shit because that's what i'm here for forks and yeah bye thanks for watching have a good, happy valentine's day if you're gonna do something for valentine's day and see you Next time. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.